Hey, in this adventure, I show how my dad and I spend zero dollars on accommodations, riding five days on motorcycles, and my current solution for this type of riding. What type of riding am I talking about? The kind that you just stop to sleep and eat. A new place every night. Like when my dad and I toured the desert southwest. While it's usually the most expensive part of the ride, we paid zero for accommodations. One of the things that bothers me with uh, accommodations on the road, you have to make reservations. And that reservation means now you're tied into a time. Well, what if I want to you know, go on this other little side adventure? What if I make really good time and want to keep going? I don't like being tied into that when I'm doing some distance riding. Have you seen my trailer plate? I like to wing it on rides when I can. So what's a motorcyclist to do? Before Dad and I had this trip all planned out, he met Chuck Marble. Now Chuck Marble is a bit of a marvel. He has ridden some serious miles. The Hoka Hay, he's done uh, the True X six times back to back. And the, the, the True X is four corners ride, but you have to put Lebanon, Kansas in each one. It ends up being uh, around 11,000 miles for each True X. So if you can do the math, that's like 66,000 miles he did at, at one go. <laughs> yeah, so what does a guy like that do? Surely he's not spending, you know, 200 bucks every night he's stopping. Uh, Traction Dynamics has a little video on what he does. He basically has a tarp and a chair, props his feet up on his bike, sleeps in his chair. He can do that anywhere he can stop his bike. After learning what Chuck does and thinking about what my back likes, uh, I decided a cot next to a motorcycle might be a little better and then put a tarp over it. Have you ever slept in a parking spot, at a, in a parking lot or in a rest area? Well, if it sounds a little intimidating to you, <laughs> you're in good company. It did to me too. But well, don't knock it till you try it. And I've tried it, my friends, and uh, it's opened a lot of doors for me. There's been a lot of times I wanted to do some kind of multi-day ride, but either didn't want to uh, to reserve a hotel or a campground, or didn't want to pay for something I would only be at for like six or eight hours. Parking lot sleeping is the answer. Now, have I done a lot of this? N no. The, uh, the cot in the open air or the cot with the tarp just didn't seem like quite enough. I needed something more, but we'll get to that later. Now, I did try sleeping in the chair. I did that at the, uh, the Welcome Center rest area in Shreveport. It's just not for me. I, I, think, I think four out of four chiropractors recommend sleeping more flat than that. Or maybe Chuck Marvel is just that much tougher than I am. So while I like the tarp idea, I don't like the implementation. Uh, the tarp can flop around. It can let wind and rain in. Uh, it can hit you while you're sleeping. Um, it just doesn't work for me. And plus, I like to lay flat. I don't know, maybe Chuck has something all figured out. For me, I just got to do something a little bit different. Now, I've watched a lot of overlanding videos. The trailers they use, the, the gear they do, the, the modifications, all these different things really fascinate me. And uh, One day, I saw a DIY bat wing, and that got me to thinking. A bat wing for a motorcycle trailer. That Lumina trailer is excellent for modifications. So I assembled my parts, aluminum angle, uh, EMT conduit, a cheap tarp, and got to work. Now the first time I tried it, I used some smaller angle and it, it wasn't beefy enough. It just flexed way too much. So I had to go back to Lowe's, get some beefier uh, angle aluminum, and re redo the whole thing. Now, if you're familiar with a bat wing, you know they have some kind of cover over top of it. It protects the, the tarp or whatever fabric it is from the UV rays, from being beaten and tattered uh, as you go down the road. Um, and they don't make one for what I was doing, so I talked to my quilter wife and was able to convince her to help me build this bag that would cover my bat wing. I think maybe she decided to do it because I said, Hey, would you like to go to the fabric store with me? <laughs> a little roll reversal. Um, so we went, found some good uh, canvas fabric, and uh, we, we made this bag to go over it. 
I don't have any fancy tools, so I went to YouTube to figure out how to drill holes in conduit. I'm also using a three quarter inch conduit and half inch conduit to slide into each other. After all this construction and, and sewing, I had to do some testing in the yard, like this rain test. Before going camping, I took it on an hour and a half, two hour ride uh, just around the block to make sure it could handle the, the wind and all the different forces that happen to it as you ride down the road with it exposed there. I then rode about two hours to the Meriwether Lewis uh, campground right there on the Natchez Trace to try it out for a night. So I just, at the end of the work day, I hopped in on my bike, rode down there, set it up, slept, put it all back rode back, started work the next day. Uh, no big deal, but that's exactly how I want to use the, the bat wing is you ride, you deploy it, you sleep, you get up, you keep riding. Now after all these tests, I took it on a three day camping trip to Arkansas with my dad and one of my uncles. Now I will say that's not the intended use of this bat wing, but I thought it was a good test and I had a backup tent in case it failed miserably. I did learn that the, the real trick to this is having the right sleeping gear. The first night I slept there in Arkansas, it only got down to like 65. The bugs were still bad. I had a warmer sleeping bag because I thought it was going to get cold. And so either I was in a sleeping bag getting too hot or I was out of the sleeping bag getting too bitten. Uh, second night I got my smaller sleeping bag out of the trailer and uh, slept pretty well. But the purpose of this bat wing is to go we'll say Chuck Marble style. You, you ride, you stop only enough to get the sleep you need, pack up, keep riding. It's a quick deploy, a little bit of protection from the elements, and comfortable. All I need to keep riding. So some possible improvements for this thing, I can put some walls on it, whether it's a, a fabric, a tarp, or some type of mosquito netting. That starts to get a little bit more into like base camp type of operation. I could also get some kind of welder to fabricate this better. Welded aluminum rather than bolted aluminum. Uh, might could get the, uh, the pivot point to work a little bit better doing that. I've also used pins for the sliding conduit and I'd like to use that stuff you squeeze on like uh, your quick deploy pop-up canopies where you just push a little button and slide it and it clicks into place. Um, I'm not sure where to look for for that yet. Um, that would be a great addition, a lot quicker to deploy than trying to find where to put the um, where to put the pins when it's uh, dark. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. If this was interesting to you, please click like. If you'd like to see more of the crazy things I'm doing, click subscribe. It's free. Until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.